Aluminium is a silvery white, quite soft metal, and it's located in the burn groove. Because of its density and availability, it's widely used in building, but also in transporting industries. Also, aluminium is quite inert to corrosion, and this is because of the effects of so-called passivation. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the passivation effect, and also how to interrupt it by introducing a gallium-based alloy into the aluminium matrix. I started this experiment following a procedure posted a while ago on Science Madness. I've provided a link down below if you want to take a look. So start off by preparing a gallium alloy. This is done by mixing 68% of gallium with 22% of indium and another 10% of tin. Additional heating is required to thoroughly mix things up. Interestingly enough, this alloy stays liquid at room temperature and was therefore used in mercury free thermometers. The major downside though is that it's kind of sticking to smooth surfaces like glass. Basically this is done by heating the aluminium and while it's semi-molten adding the gallium alloy. I've did this with 5% gallium alloy equal to the mass of aluminium. The clip you can see here is actually a small scale experiment because I've already had a bunch of activated aluminium from all other tests. 5% are actually quite low, and other members got even lower percentages to work, but with 5% I think you're good to go. So I've weighed out 5 grams of aluminium and heated it with my blowtorch. As I got to the semi-liquid state, I've added the gallium alloy and mixed things thoroughly up. It's then remolten to finish it up. At the end I had a crumbly alloy which kind of looked like this. What we just did is interrupting the protective oxide layer by introducing other metal atoms into the aluminium. Now it's not able to fully perform passivation and therefore always some pure aluminium is exposed. Pure aluminium reacts with water producing hydrogen. The cool side effect is that the gallium alloy is actually not reacting and can, when larger amounts are used, be recycled. This concept was actually discussed to be used commercially to produce hydrogen in, for example, cars. However, it's never really got big. The activated aluminium is still pretty useful in organic chemistry. When using aluminium as a reducing agent in organic chemistry, almost every time mercury chloride is used as the activating ingredient. However, mercury compounds are pretty toxic, expensive, and the workup is just troublesome. So using the activated aluminium we just made has some serious advantages. To demonstrate the application, I took some anhydrous isopropanol and reacted it under reflux for 6 hours with the activated aluminium. Actually, in our red did a video about aluminium isopropoxide, except that he activated the aluminium with mercury chloride, and so we can use our activated aluminium instead. I've provided a link to another words video in the video description. After 6 hours I've started distilling the aluminium isopropoxide. Because of its high boiling point, it's recommended to use a short path distillation apparatus. The stuff coming over is actually not pure aluminium isopropoxide, because it's way too runny, so it's likely contaminated with isopropanol. After a second distillation though, I got some pretty pure stuff. <laughs> 